something's happening. There's still so many. Uh, we might as I won't. I'll deal with that later. Probably when we get back. This is hostile territory, but I've handled all of them. So, oh, there's a notice here. Silver teeth wanted. Uh, do you have trouble making ends meet here in Karnaka? Did you have your bad teeth fixed with silver fillings? Despair no more. I'll buy your silver teeth, whatever their condition, for a coin each. Come to Valley Street for every first day of the month. Clean extraction tools. Uh, bring your own whiskey if you need it. I think they would definitely need it. Alright. Let's go over to the Howlers. Handle that particular problem. But firstly, I would need to uh, destroy this. Okay, we'll handle that later on. Actually, we could probably handle that right now. There are howlers in there. Paolo. Some wise ass has been robbing black market Maybe shops. The bosses hope you find out who comes. Yeah, I I really do hope you find them. <laughs> That's bad. All right, so this one's open now. One down there. Sweetheart, I'm still not sure when I'll be able to join you. I can't close up the shop or leave my brother alone right now. Running a black market business is every bit as tricky as I always imagined. The conflict in the district shows no signs of abating. Day and night, we hear overseer gunshots and those screaming bolts used by the howlers. You stay inside, hoping for all this to end soon. Whenever I feel sad, I look at our wedding silver graph. What a special day that was. I have an anniversary surprise for you, and I'm not sure I'll be able to wait to give it to you. Stay safe, my dear. I love you, Martha. Martha! Oh, this must be his bum brother. Yeah, let's let him there. Let's let him be there. Let him stay there. actually find it here um, in the calendar over here that's a code to the market um, at the fourth one so one two three four so one two four um, black markets always end their codes with a number four We don't plan to kill her, nor do we plan on putting her asleep. We just want that, that one. <laughs> All right. Leave her there. Yes. Now we're getting somewhere. Can't be too cautious. Well, the shop's getting knocked off. Yep. Yeah. Can't be too cautious. I know, right? Ah. Uh, well, I gotta go. Soon. I mean, if I'm still here. I'll still be there. I'm sure. No, no. Paolo and Bird. Maybe the bosses are getting too comfortable. The soup is only for the workers and their families. Something tells me you're not one of them. 
Between what the Duke did, and now the Howlers and the Overseers fighting over the area, these people haven't been fortunate. Hmm. You can't open it.
Mr. Acosta, symptoms, acute shortness of breath, persistent rattle in the left lung, headache. Remedy, recommended inhalation of vaporated sorrel fluids to clear lung obstruction. Followed by a mixture of ice and salt applied at both temples to relieve headache. Payment, coupons from Santiago Fisheries, probably two weeks works of worth of fish. Mrs. Gaspar, insomnia, dry hands, cramping of the stomach, remedy, uh, recommended, eat, recommended eating four small onions before retiring to bed to fight insomnia. Daily calf packing soaked in vinegar and distilled leech serum. She'll mend my shirts and pants. I can pick them up by end of week. Miss Mr. Vetter, Vittery, Vittery. Um, nosebleed, toothache, weak nerves. Uh, symptoms possibly related to blood fly stings. For bleeding at the nose, tilt the back of the back, ba- tilt back the head and engage in rigorous motion of the jaw, as if in the act of mastication. Daily injections of purified river crust icor will strengthen the weak the weak nerves. Half mutton doesn't look fresh. I'll boil it when I get to it to eliminate infestation or parasites. This must be Paolo's place. Ah, uh, yeah. The Abbey of the Everman is the seat of religious power and inspiration for all overseers across the empire. The order arose over the years to protect common people from their. Ra- oh, I've read this already. Oh no, I haven't. Wait, lang. Until the need of until the need for a central bastion of authority was deemed necessary, this imposing structure is a destination for pilgrims seeking refuge or guidance. Many mistakenly attribute the Abbey's construction to High Overseer Benjamin Holger when it was in actuality Holger's successor John Clavering who laid the foundation. Shortly after the Abbey was completed, every overseer in the land gathered there and began to tre- began a trek to Whitecliffe. There a great siege commenced as the overseers purged the region. The battle raged against heretics, witches, and thralls of the outsider. Though Holger was killed in the struggle, Whitecliffe was cleansed and the ceremonial rites that followed lasted a month giving birth to many invocations and speeches which were inscribed in the tomes and carried back to the abbey, where they are still revered today. I just needed for the screenshot. Oh, there is another one here. Vera Mori. Wait, is Vera Mori gra- um, Grandma Rags? Granny Rags? I am not sure. I don't quite remember. I'll have to look it up. Because if that's the case, since there were four touched by the outsider, Vera Mori could have been, you know, Granny Rags. You don't know. In case I you're wondering, know. Paolo's not one of those unhinged cultists who believe I will grant them favors if they leave a big enough offering or play just the right musical notes. He doesn't care a fig for me. But he put up this shrine because he found the hand of an old witch I knew once. And Paolo saw right away that it pays to have an edge. 
sometimes pieces of us linger long after we're gone. The Duke of Sirkonos inherited a vibrant city and wasted no time stripping it to the bone. What will he leave behind? And what about you? Who will you leave to pick up the pieces here in the Jewel of the South? Gonna leave this here. Oh wow, what is Mindy doing here? Oh, she's unconscious, that's what matters. Durante got themselves nicked by the Abbey boys, which means that they've got his office key and it means he might have told them how, how to open the Jindashlock. I need you to find a way to open Durante's door, and no burning the building to the ground is not an option. I also want you to start dropping off food for old Stilton until we find someone to replace Durante. Once you manage to get this office open, you'll, fi you'll find all the details inside. Be very careful when you go into the Stilton's manor. If the overseers do not have the code to the Jindashlock, they might want to have a peek inside too. Durante, it's underway. Your men will be released by the Shindere Mining Company as soon as we bring them a couple of replacements. You just need to drop two of your the usual drunks into the crates I've, I've prepared. Anyone reasonably healthy will do, but go easy on the drugging. The deal is off. And, uh, if they arrive dead, take this key. It opens the back room in my silver graph studio. Whoever you nab, drop them into the crates and nail them shut. When you when you have done your part, leave the shop door unlocked on your way out. They just say I won't be there. Madotti. Code. This is from our friend the Duke. She'll need it when you take food into Silton's house. Leave the supplies and make sure the old man has water. Yep. No one else has the combination. We pretty much finished that one. Yeah, 
Okay, I'll deal with that later on. Whoever did that, we'll get them. Holy shit! Okay, hold on. Before we do that, maybe we'd like to. Yeah, maybe we'd like to do something else. We need to finish off the entire. We, we need to make them all fall asleep. So, you know. This might require a little more creativity than usual. Charms, yep, had that already. Is this the void? Are you the cursed outsider? I, I, uh, I. God damn it! That, uh... Yeah... Shit... Well... At least we got... We learned... Stuff... I guess... Son, that's scurry. Is this the void? Are 
you cursed outsider. Not really. You're close though. Oh. Old Widow's Recipes. Marnie Secret Powders. Dry 20 purple sea slugs in the sun until they be crisp and light as feathers. Put them in mortar with these. One dried burdock root, four dried neem leaves, one and a, ha a half measure whalebone, finely shaved. Dried until powdery. Keep very, v very dry until ready to use. Careful not to get any in your eyes. Idlines night drops for inducing nighters and starving your enemies of sleep. Soak a ripe lemon in a mug of goat's milk for five days until the milk turns to green foam. Should be a uh, thick and pungent. Discard the lemon. Mix the foam and with a bit of honey. For taste, then bottle it up tight with a stopper. Uh, five drops in the fellow's drink should do this trick. Oh god. So that's for insomnia. Like that. Yeah, let's go revisit our power, shall we? Oh, we have six. Um, hmm. Well, time to find out what act what it actually does then. Okay, what else? Can incapacitate up. wasn't good might as well just use the thing the um what you call what you call it might, might as well just use domino then How many of you are there exactly? They seem to come out of nowhere.
Ooh, take yan. Ah, ah. Well, I'm slowly um withering. Um, ooh, I'm slowly getting rid of them. Fucking annoying, alright. Let's just be patient with it then.
dead? Wait, why? What happened? Why dead? What do you mean dead? Didn't kill anyone? Dead? How dead? Why dead? What do you mean dead? 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 Ha! All right, that's weird. I'm not. I'm not endorsing that. All right. This is a sleep dart, yeah? Unconscious, 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 that's good. I didn't kill anyone. Oh god, that's... Good, great, just all unconscious, that's all I need. You don't need anything other than that. Uh, death in the month of songs. She was shy in the month of hearts, hiding it from my scented letters. A sun dappled cure for my loneliness. She was smiling in the month of rain, eating figs straight from the tree, a dream of sailing around the isles. She was wed in the month of clans to her sailor cousin from Colero, a shellbird drilling at my chest. She was dying in the month of songs, struck by a disease from the east, a terrible kiss on her distant lips. I will eat every last one of you. Thank you. Please tell me they didn't eat these up. Up, unconscious, unconscious. 
Oh, early in the morning, before the sunrise, they get out of bed and open their eyes. With dirty old trousers and brown and blacks, they pick up their tools and pick up their axe. Say wayo, the dust it blows. Say wayo, the dust it blows. They march down that road to Stilton's old mine, just like their elders when the white ages were fine. But Stilton's long gone, and so is his grace. Now ain't no one happy in this miserable. Now no ain't no one happy in this miserable place. Say way o the silver it glows. Say way o the silver it glows. Down underground it's dark and it's cold. They don't get no breaks. They do as they're told. The dust crews get down on their hands and knees to do anything that angry foreman please. Say way o the dust it glows. Say way o the silver it glows. But the foreman uh, he's under the duke's greedy thumb, making the miners work till they're numb. They pull, uh, they they pull out that silver, um, make that man rich, and come home broken, face black as pitch. Say way o the dust it blows. Say way o the silver it glows. And up in that palace where the greedy duke hides, there's riches and treasure he ne'er ne'er divides. But down in Batista, a dirty wind blows. The stools are thin and there's rags for clothes. On the dust district, she's a terrible place. Put a limp in your walk and a scowl on your face. When the miners come back with pittance for pay, makes you wonder why they they get up the next day. Say way o the dust it blows. Say way o the dill silver it glows. Say way o the dust it blows. Say way o the dill silver it glows. Back in his office, I think. No, he's up there. Hmm. <laughs> yep. Got him. What? Yeah. Paolo had a mummified hand. Caught you in my trap. Get owned, bitch. Okay. That was Granny Rag's hand. Right. That's both. God damn, that scared me. Let's put them all to that place then. Okay, that was a mistake. Come on, dude. Down first, bitch. Time to pay off your debt to society, Paolo. I hope five years away gives you time to think while the city rebuilds itself without your little war. Hell yeah. Alright, what am I missing? Madotti, here's what I've been allowed to take from the saloon emergency stash. Hold on to it until I bring you the two guys. It makes me sick to pay those bastards from the mining company. We can't, uh, let, but we can't afford to let Paco and Bill die up there. Durante. Mm -hmm. Oh. Cool. 
Note to staff, do not take more silver cover crafts from Miss for Miss Mindy Blanchard until she pays what she owes. Do not let her pick up any of her existing portraits either. We do not offer credit even to the howlers and promises don't pay your wages. If she threatens one of you again, let me know. I'll bring the matter to Paolo, my daughter. Look at all the ma- oh, look, all that matters is that every wedding silver gap delivery comes with a nice little message. Um, I know they're- I know- I know they're tacky, but it's what our customers want. We're not here to be poets, thinking of wine and piss, starving or in the gutter outside the crony's hand. Here are some examples for your best. We met in the month of high cold, now we'll hold hands until we're old. Wed the month of rain, a love without refrain. Wed the month of timber, even a day to remember. Ever a day to remember. Married in the month of seeds, a sweet huckleberry for all your needs. But together in the month of cold, you can dump him when it gets cold. <laughs> and he gets old, sorry. Oh god. Okay, grab this and grab this. Alright. Now we can go to the Jindosh lock, but we... Okay, that's also territory. You handle that though. Let's just go past by the black market though. I have a feeling we'll need some stuff. Oh boy. Cool. This is what I have for upgrading your equipment. I'll take that one. Business. Yep, we're good. No, well, you won't regret it. I'll take that deal. Come back soon. I mean, if I'm still here. Oh boy. 